Let's say you're applying for a job and that job is paying you top bucks, 150 grand a year. And you went to, to God and you prayed and say, God, my heavenly dad, I'm asking you, please, I'm going to apply for this job. Please, 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 I beg you, please give me the job. I'm desperate. It's 150 grand. God, please, I need it. In Jesus' mighty name, in your beloved son, the only son you have, my Lord, my Savior, in Jesus' name, please give me the job. I apply and I don't get it. God, you let me down. I even asked you in your son's name and you let me down. No, God will come and say, when I looked at your intention, when I looked deep down in your heart, I could see that when you get the 150 grand, you're not going to remember me. I'm not going to give you. You see, the Lord says, there's a promise that I will do whatever you ask in my name, I will do. That's a promise. But there is a condition to the promise so that the father may be glorified in the son. So when you're asking, are you asking and saying, Lord, give me the 150. I'm going to help so many kids in Africa in your name. You will get the job. Brother. Lord, when you give me more, I'll give more. I'll help more people. I'm going to remember every orphan. I'm going to remember every homeless. I'm going to remember every soul that is persecuted. I'm going to go and help the sick. I'm going to go and, and clothe the naked. I'm going to feed the hungry. And then watch if God is going to help you or not. See, everything has to be for the glory of the heavenly dad and his son. If there is no glory for this, why would God give it? He is actually not going to be fair to give you something that is not going to glorify him. Where is the fairness? There is no fairness. Marmari, I made you a bishop. What are you going to do for me? Say, I made you a doctor. What are you going to do for me? I made you a lawyer. What are you going to do for me? I made you a teacher. What are you going to do for me? I made you an engineer. What are you going to do for me? A professor, a scientist. What are you going to do for me? I made you a scientist to go and deny my existence. Then you are an ignorant person. It'll get you nowhere. That's why when we are praying, we need to focus on how we are praying and what our intentions are in the prayer. Believe me, I've tried it. You ask him for something that you are willing to do to glorify him. <laughs> you got it, brother. Actually, he's not only going to give you what you ask for, he's going to give you better. <laughs>